Greens one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. I want to do a review of the Wubin C3 EDC or whatever flashlight. And um, hang on. Okay, before we do anything else, I want to go right into price point. And um, the reason I'm going into price point first is because if you've seen my flashlight rant video, you know, an $80 flashlight, when it, find, when it eventually quits working on you, and I've had uh, Phoenix stop working on me, Four Sevens has stopped working on me, um, Streamlight has stopped working on me, and it's not just the batteries, it's the fact that it's, the light itself just quits. Don't know why, it just, you know, it is what it is. And it's, I've had to replace more flashlights in my system than I have to anything else. A headlamp I've had to replace. My uh, other EDC lights, this is not even my first, this is like my sixth EDC light in like 10 years. So, um, so this light, $29.99. To me, that is right in the ballpark of what I would consider good money for a light while I carry it. Because I'm not overspending. I don't like wasting, you know, why go out and spend $80 on a flashlight and, and, a, and a couple of years later it just stops working. So it, so it comes with a battery. I may have to do the other camera because I get a, a close-up. So I'll do a close-up of the other camera. Now this is uh, rechargeable. So um, it has a plug right here for your charging cable. And I plugged it right in. I just used my light. It comes with a cable, which I'm going to have to get the other camera and do close up. So let's do that so I can show you. Okay. So first of all, I appreciate the fact that they don't give you a ton of excessive packaging. You know, I love that because otherwise, I mean, packaging pretty much is just going in the trash. So you come with, it comes with cardboard. <laughs> Uh, it comes with a charging cable, but because it's the same one as my um, my uh, battery for the flashlight for the cameras, when I pull the footage off, it's the same port. So I just use my cable. This is why I haven't. That's why it's still wrapped up. I haven't used it yet. But it comes with a cable for recharging. Came in a bag for you know storing it. Comes with a lanyard, the two extra O-rings, and then a a uh, pretty big, uh, I need to show you this in a second, a uh, manual, and it actually came with this little thing here, and what this is, if, is it came between the battery and the flashlight, so it didn't kill the battery as it was in transport or in storage, so, which is nice, so if you're going to store your flashlight, I'm like, if you're going to go hiking with your flashlight and you just can throw it in the bag, you could probably use this little diffuser and save your batteries if you don't want to leave your batteries in there. So, so pretty nice, I think. Here's a good look at the flashlight. Comes with a nice belt clip. Nice and uh, doesn't go. I kind of wish it came down to the end, like a real deep carry. Because otherwise, this part, if you, if that's what's uh, something you worry about, will be sticking up. But I just keep it in a little pocket here in my 511 pants. I just drop it in there and it's, and it's totally fine. Okay, so I mentioned price point, $29.99. And uh, if you're one of my viewers, or you just happen to be watching this video, uh, there is a discount code, which I'm going to look up for you because I don't memorize it. I want to make sure you get the right code too. And I'll throw it up on the screen. So it's uh, capital letters. Come on, phone. It's uh, E C O C 320. So E Carbs Outdoor C C3 and then zero. So Echo Charlie Oscar Charlie 320. We'll get you 20% off on this. So additional savings for you. Um, now, what you want to know is well, what lumens is it? That's all good. I like to mention price point first because, um, man, that's $29.99 is affordable. And when you knock 20% off, I mean, that's, that's basically almost like getting, that's like 
getting free shipping plus a couple extra bucks in your pocket saved. And you know, you know, it'd be great gifts. I mean, I always get stuck on buying gifts. Flashlights would make a great gift for a guy or a gal. Say, here, throw it in your purse. Uh, throw it in your bag, your vehicle bag, your get home bag, whatever. You know, it's always good to have a um, light source. I carry a flashlight on my person. If I walk out of the house, I have a flashlight on me. Even if I'm just going to the store and back, I've always got a flashlight. It's part of my system. Knife, pocket knife, flashlight, SAK, and then light source. Okay, so the lumens on this sucker is 1200. Okay, I'm gonna do some uh, dark shots at home tonight. I'll just take a break from watching Daredevil and I'll, I'll take, so it's uh, 1200. That's on high now. And it's 400 for medium, 80 for low, and five for eco. And it has strobe mode and SOS. And uh, I'm having a hard time reading the tiny text because I need, I actually it's supposed to be wearing glasses. But uh, I'll make sure to link the uh, website so you can go check them out yourself. And um, yeah, just uh, so far I've been really happy with it. I've actually not owned it long. So I'm, in, I'm already planning on a year with the gear and I'll let you know. So to turn it on, it's just a simple on off. Oop, did I put the battery in backwards? That would be awkward if I did. No, I don't think I did. Did I tighten it all the way? Oh, there we go. So it has memory mode, so whatever mode you leave it in. So you leave it in medium, and you turn it on, it'll stay in medium, which is pretty nice, because I turned this on, it was on high, and I turned to my condo, and I was like, holy crap, this thing is bright. And to, um, to, to brighten it, you just hit the, um, you do a half click, and you can ramp it up. So low, medium, high, and to get into the strobe, you just double hit it and you get your strobe mode, which will do some night shots. I think that's the beacon. It's got that little flutter in there. Honestly, I've never used the beacon mode. I'm trying to keep it out of the camera glare so you're not getting blinded, but I've never actually used the strobe mode. About medium is where I'd leave it. Cause I just, you know, I'm looking around I've dropped things in the car, they've rolled under the seat. I'm trying to, you know, flop my hand around looking for it. It's like, oh, fast food napkin wrapper, toss. Um, you know, I'm like, where the hell did it go? So I end up having to dig out the light, click, do a quick search. Oh, because things always have to go bouncing way a ways. At least for me. Your, uh, your mileage may vary, but so far I'm really happy with it. And uh, I'm already, give, I'm really behind my year with the gear, so I do apologize. I've actually got to make a list and start knocking those out because, well, I didn't camp barely at all last year, so the stuff I bought, I um, didn't get to use enough, so I don't, I don't feel justified making a video about a piece of gear, a year with the gear, if I hadn't been using it for a year, because, like, well, I hadn't been using it, so what's the point of me doing a video, so. Anyway, that is the Wubin C3. Very happy with it. It's not a little flashlight, but then I'm not a little guy, so. I like it. It's cool. It's bright. It does what I need. I love the fact that I can just take it home, plug it in, and recharge it. I mean, with a charging cable, you can plug it in your car, charge it in your car, charge it in your work. You know, you're sitting at your desk at your work, just plug it in. I mean, your workplace doesn't seem to get mad when you charge your cell phone, so why would they get mad if you charge your flashlight? So, anyway, I guess I've rambled enough. Have a great day. Uh, catch you in the next one. If you have any questions, uh, put them down below, and then. Uh, well, stay tuned for the year with the gear, which will be a year, hopefully a year from today, so, or, you know, sometime around there. All right, see ya. Alrighty, this is my short hallway, but I figured I would uh, at least show you the light against the door so you can see. I got the washer and dryer on the left, closet door on the right, so here is on. I think this is about medium, so let's... Okay, let's, let's do this right. Okay, so this is a low mode, as you can see. Pretty solid beam, I think. And then you half click. That's about medium. 
and then you next half click is high but you can see the uh, you know that nice tight beam in the center and then that should be turbo that's the highest the brightest mode and then you can just go back to low again and back to medium. Now to go strobe you just yeah kind of, well, that must be the beacon see how it changes I'm facing it down so I won't hit that. okay now that's strobe so beacon and strobe which that's a pretty bright strobe that's about the mode huh? You just figure out where you like it. About medium is okay for me. It'll say battery power, which I can just plug in and charge. This is just my hats and stuff on the right, if you're wondering. A stack of hats and some kitchen stuff I don't have room for. So, alright.